Hey everybody, what's going on? Shabby Do here, and today we're gonna get back into that shabby experience that is Force of Nature 2. Now you can see my guy looks a little different. We've equipped ourselves with new gear. We've penned up our animals. You can see that up here. And we've whew, I'm out of breath. And we've updated our base. So let's go on a little tour here before we start farming simulators to make all our food. Just kidding, I already did it. We got a bunch of food here, and holy crap. Uh, they need to fix some of this crafting time. It's a bit ridiculous. Even if, and I don't, but even if you could get the max level 5 to speed up crafting time by 100%, it would still be unreasonable. It took me... So, let, let me tell you this, right? To make flatbread, you need flour. To make flour, you need wheat seed, right? It all makes sense. You can make a stack of 20 flour at a time with 40 seeds and or sorry with 200 seeds and you'll make four 20 flour <clears throat> so you got to farm a bit so even taking out the farming time it takes almost 15 minutes it's like 10 or 15 minutes to sit here and do nothing and craft flour to make 20 pieces of bread how absolutely absurd even if that was in half and call it 10 minutes or call it five minutes, that's still ridiculous. You're sitting still in a game doing nothing for 10 minutes. Like I get crafting times, but if you're going to put in such long crafting times, they need to be automated so I can go around and do other things and come back and it be ready. But that's my complaint for the day. But look at this. We've penned our animals. So they're all in here. Nice, happy animals out of my way, not roaming around the entire base or sneaking out. Fixed my fence a little bit here. Obviously, we still got our crafting spot here. Coming back here, I made another water purifier. I've made a 3x3 grid for farming. We've got our grinder, as we talked about here. And that's about it. And obviously, a couple extra barrels. And you can see here, I need to dump some of this stuff. Actually, I'm going to make this meat real quick, just because... Take this pot out of here, just so I can have a little bit of extra stuff on me. I'm going to bring the milk with me, too. Because the meat's pretty good. I got a bunch of meat from from slaying animals out there because I was trying to make this necklace, the claw beads, which you need 12 claws for. And this shield, the wooden battle shield, which you need 5 claws for. And holy crap, I reset the map and went and slaughtered. I slaughtered all the way around here, all the way back down and down here. I even ended up adventuring a little further up here to find more animals to kill. It took a while. Like, all in all, from the last time we ended the last episode to now, I spent another three hours today grinding to get food and those claws. So, the food is what took the most time. It was crazy. But, all right, I'm going to make this meat, and then we're going to take off and find out what's over here at our question mark. All right, we've got our meat. I made 12 of them, so let's keep carrying on over here and get some new things. Not new things, but let's continue our exploration here. So we are going to need to get all the way back over here. And I'm assuming maybe head that direction. Alright, so I'm back into the uh, newly charted territory. There are a few goblins laying around because I never cared to actually kill them. If they left me alone, I left them alone, and this one's not on that list. So, carry on. You can see we do 13 damage with this thing. That's because we're getting an extra 2 damage from our claw beads, an extra 1 damage from our wooden battle shield, and I get an extra 0.4 damage here so it can fluctuate a bit. And our stone mace does 10 damage and has a 5% chance to stun. So that's where we're at with all that goodies there. And this is the new territory. I did run into a new creature. Uh, nothing crazy. It was just a wolf. Ooh, I never even saw this little biome here. Are these different? These are different. Oh boy, okay. No, they don't. They're just like regular goblins. I think they just have a different skin. Ah, oh, there it is. There's the little wolf creature. Where's my stone mace? Oh, I don't have it on my hotbar. Silly me. I took it off for this food. I'm going to take the spear off. It has a little bit extra reach, and it came in handy for some small creatures like Fox when they ran away from me. And I could hit them real quick just before they completely took off, but... Ooh, a claw. I gotta go grab that. Like, I probably would have hit that guy if I had my spear. Uh, you know what? We don't... Oh, hi. I don't need to have this, so... Let's do that, that, that. Put that in here. Claw. Alright, let's 
carry on. I like this little area here. Oh, another wolf. Oh, I'm punching it. Pelts. I feel like the drop rates for claws are higher from these wolves. It's definitely what helped me get... Oh, there's a bunch of these guys here. Over here, I'm going to eat a piece of my meat. Oh, jeez, look at all these guys. Look at them all. See, claw popping right out. We do have a like a 5% chance to block with our shield, which mitigates all damage, which is nice. Definitely glad we made all this food. Alright, you stopped running. Your wolves. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hit this guy, it's only a two shot. Take the claws. I don't care about the sticks. Holy crap, a bear. I'm not gonna... F well, okay, let's see. I blocked it. Okay, four damage. Ooh, my word. Look at that. Raw meat, claws, pelts. So oh my. Alright, let's just pause here for a second. <laughs> Whew. I can hear things. Yep, there he comes. Look, I can hear your footsteps, buddy. Gonna eat one of the breads. The bread's a little better. This does 15 in 20 seconds, and I believe the bread is 20 and 15, yeah. So, there we go. We'll get that up a bit. Oh, was not looking. Get these guys out of our way here. And I've noticed, the drop rate for this mask must either be unique to where you can only have one at a time, and the game just won't recognize and drop others, or... It's so it's just that rare because I didn't see another one and I killed a literal ton of goblins. Like there's a ton of goblin corpses just sitting around this world right now. Gonna kill this. Get out of here, bear. Nice stun. So bears are definitely the best way to get claws. So if you're out there farming for claws. Make sure to go a little deeper and come to this little biome out here and fight some bears. They'll definitely help. Coming out with just a, a stone mace will be very beneficial. Just have some food with you. Even baked potatoes. Baked potatoes are very easy to grow. All you need is a potato. And you can find them out in the world and then you can plant a potato. Oh my god, we're here. <gasps> Shh. Ah, cool. Hey, it's a ghost? <gasps> hey. Wanderer. <clears throat> It's rare to meet a traveler here nowadays. Who are you? I've been wandering here for years. All this time I keep trying to recall who I am and why I am here. Do you know what this place is? It's an island of the ancients. They built these gates in an altar at the center several millennia ago. Legends say that they traveled to other worlds from this place. Seems, seems to me that I'm not from this world too. Is the altar still working? Yes. It can still do a lot, but it needs the stone. What stone? The ancients could open the gates with the help of the stone, which is called the force of nature. The issue is that it has been broken apart years ago and its shards have been scattered all over the world. The stone can be reassembled if you find all the pieces and put them together. Is that it? You'll have to gather all the shards of the force of nature if you want to return to your world. Okay. Um, oh, oh my god, magic blueberries? Okay. Got some magic blueberries. So now we've got all sorts of new things we can do. Uh, nothing new here for me, so let's see our objectives here. So, what unusual stone I found in those bushes of wonderful flowers. Oh, I found a stone in there? Okay. I see you found one of the shards of the force of nature. You need to put it in the altar. With each added shard, the altar will gain some of its lost power. Literally didn't even see me pick that up. Soul Master? Tame a ghost. You cannot pass through the gates without magic skills. I can teach you these skills and also help you with several tasks surrounding your base. It certainly beats hundreds of years of loneliness. Oh, awesome. Here's our automation. You can call upon me wherever you are, and I can bring you back to where you first appeared in this world. Perfect. Got it. Thank you. I'm going to take a look around here. Okay. So, skills. Still nothing. Ooh, ghosts. Okay. So... 
Set a job for the ghost. Ghosts are looking for a job of their own, but you can. There are two ways to give a ghost a specific job. Open the ghost, click the button under the ghost avatar, and select the job in the window that opens. This method can be used even if you are far away from the base. Open a construction with active work. Click on the bring to work button and select a ghost. Awesome. Uh, let me do this. Ghosts. Work priority. Repair. Build. Craft. Mine. Okay. Oh, hi. In order to pass through the gate, you will have to master your skills, and you will be able to build a portal. Is there anything you want to know? Nope. So... We said it can tell me magic, so I guess I'll, I'll follow the, the prompts here. So obviously set a job for him, ask him to teleport you. Place a construction teleport, use the teleport. Okay, hold on. Construct. Teleport requires ectoplasm. Okay, and I'm gonna have to craft that at a at a table. All right, let's just have him teleport us. I just want to walk around over here a little bit. Oh, a bear! Perfect. Come here, you. I'm sure, we can use your claws for something else. Come here, Bubba. You're my bear now. See, it got a claw again. So it looks like maybe a high chance for claws or at the very worst scenario. Sorry, very worst scenario, a high chance for claws, but best is like a minimum of one, it seems. So I've never not gotten a claw from them yet. The wolves definitely have a higher chance for claws, too, than foxes. Okay, okay, chill out, bro. So this might be the whole map here. Thanks for the claw. All right, let's follow the prompts. Let's have him teleport us out of here. I can't talk to him. Talk. Get me out of here. All right. So now here, I'm going to we're going to test out how to get him to work. So I'm going to harvest all this wheat here. And I need to figure out what to do with straw. I have so much straw. And at the very moment, at, the, at least, all I know what to do with it is pure water. I don't want to use pure water. All I know what to do with it is feed it to animals. And it's not at such a high rate. Like, look, I've got an entire basket filled with straw. I had so much straw, it's absurd. Where would I put that bucket? There's the jug. I'm going to put the pure water in here. I'm going to grab some fresh wa or raw water and water the crops real quick. And equip this. Alright, so I just replanted those crops. I'm taking all the seeds I have. I'm going to set this to craft and bring to work. Alright, crafting just got better now that I can put ghosts to work. That makes me happy. So, I don't take back what I said in the beginning. I still think it's a little long. But now with a ghost, you can do other things, which is what makes it perfect. So now with this, I can make ectoplasm. So I need magic blueberries and ash. Okay. So to make a teleport, I need three ectoplasm. So I'm going to harvest these here, and I'm going to plant our magic blueberries. All right. And for magic blueberries, you have to use pure water. So I've got a stockpile of it. So I'm going to just throw all this raw water I grabbed in here real quick. I'm going to grab the pure water I do have. I only need one, which is actually really... Nope, nope, sorry. One for each seed. Uh, da, ba, I know I have more water here. Is it over here? It's right here. There we go. So I'm going to plant these magic blueberry seeds that I do have. I can plant five in one plot, and that's all the seeds I have. So I need to wait three minutes for that. He's making me more flour, which I can then turn into flatbread in here. I can make some more meat, so I'll get that going as well. And... Let's see, let me take it to Discovery. I need to find copper. Can be obtained by smashing certain stones. I haven't noticed any yet, so it might not even be in this world. That might be in the next world we have to go through to teleport into. So let's see, the objectives. I thought... I thought I did set a job. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Open the ghost menu... Oops. Let me see. Let me talk to him. Let me have him stop what he's doing. Okay. 
Now. Yeah. Alright, he's got a job. Maybe he just needs to complete the job first. And then it'll proc the next quest. So I need to learn how to use portals. So we need to place one. So I need these to grow. So we'll wait for that. In the meantime... And I would love to just be able to teleport back there. I don't want to leave yet until we can build a portal, so we're going to hold off a second. All right, our first batch is complete. Did I just get those? Okay, I got five more seeds out of that. That's pretty weak. That's, like, only sustainable, so that's kind of rough. But I think... What do I got there? I've got 16 magic blueberries, ectoplasm... So I need to make some ash so I can make those from bone or claws. Good thing I've got these extra claws now. I'm just going to make all of this. I need a mortar, which means I'm probably going to need some clay, which means I need my hoe. Where you at, hoe? Where's my hoe? Did I drop it by mistake? Oh, there it is. It's on eight. That's what I get for moving my hotkeys around. It confuses me. I bet I need, like, five, so I'm just going to pick up five, two, three, four. I don't want to pick up that splinter. Also, garbage is just what comes on the ground after certain stuff has been sitting there for so long, and then you can click it and it disappears. At least for now, that's the only way I know how to get rid of things, so that's how I'm going to do it. So I needed I needed a mortar, right? I hope so, because that's what I'm going to make. 45 seconds for that. Double check if that's what I needed. Makes sense. Yep checks out so i got that going i got some extra cotton here so let's throw all that cotton in here i'll throw my cotton seeds over here um i've got more effing straw i've got so much straw well i have a spot here put that in there i'm gonna go put my hides in here right yep hides oh 50 is the stack get rid of the splinter put that in here that's my jug the jug over here for now let's see claws flatbread food a uh, sleeping bag my magic mushrooms all right let's go grab our mortar come back here throw our mortar right here and i'm gonna make five of these boom bring them to work god i love him even though i have nothing else to really do at the moment but you know Except show off the base, our nice fencing here. Also, you do see two little things out here. Let me show you. Because I had, you know, started digging out here, and then I realized I had some chickens escaping, and it was because they could sneak out through this little gap here, and then I, cre I made this bigger. But there was also a very tiny gap here. The way you can tell you have gaps is just come into the menu. I don't, I don't have anything to build with, so I probably can't show you. I don't. But you just come in here. Here, hold on. You ready? We'll do this. Let me grab this. Let me grab two sticks. Boop. Boop. Okay, good enough. And if I build a sign, so you see the red area, that's inaccessible to anybody. It does, like You can see, like, you can't technically get to it, but it's still an accessible spot. So if you open this menu up, you can find where you have gaps if you have a straight line of sight without any red in between, like this right here. A chicken can walk through that. You cannot, however. Well, you might be able to there, but there are certain spots you can't run through a one-tile area. So it's not completely foolproof. So I put this gate in here, then I've got two little end pieces on it to close it off, and then I have a gate right here to close that area off as well. So, but that's how you can tell to make sure your area is secure from the outside. But remember, with the new update, you don't have enemies respawning on every time you reset the game or turn it on and off unless you want it to in the settings here gameplay right here respawn all animal enemies and animals every time you exit the game now it can be good if that's what you want but that's not the intent of the game and if you use the sleeping bag let me show you the description here you use the sleeping bag use a sleeping bag to sleep until morning and evening or respawn all creatures so you can use that to respawn creatures as well all right, let's grab this, and then I'm going to queue up ectoplasm. Three of them, right? Over here, teleporter, three of them. I only have enough for two. I need one more. Look how long all this stuff takes. But now I got a ghost, so I'm happier. Now when I actually have things to do around the base, I can do them while he does all the work for me. I don't have to sit at this stupid grinder for ten minutes. All right, 
put that in here. Give me three of those. I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to put these claws away. Do I have a spot? I got a spot. I'll put those claws away. Get rid of these sticks. Pure water. I'm going to get rid of those. Put those in there. And um, I'll put this pure water right here. Actually, give me the pure water. I'm sure I'm going to need these, so I'm going to harvest that. Plant that. All right. Put those away. And we'll get these, and then we'll build our portal. So what do I need for the portal here? I also need 10 stone, which I should have in a chest, and 5 more clay. I keep, I keep eating that meat because 5 is an old hotkey of mine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, give me that. I grab my stone. Do that, put that away. Grab my ectoplasm, that's the last one. And now we can build a portal. And I'm gonna put it, say, I'm gonna put it over here. No. Where do I want it? I guess I'll put it over here for now. I can always move it. Ooh, that's big. Put it right here. Nice, and he just goes right to work to do things on his priority basis, which is cool. Alright, let's build this portal and see what we do next here. So, yep, it'll just be to use it. So my skills, I still don't have anything new I can really unlock just yet. I've got my accuracy because I did build the bow like you saw. I haven't used it much. The damage is pretty weak, but... If you want to kill livestock out in the wild, you can kill them with the bow. The cows give you hide and leather. The ducks give you feathers. I haven't killed a chicken yet. I'm assuming they'd probably give you feathers and an egg. And the sheep would give you wool and some meat as well. All right, let's use this. Force of nature altar. Okay, so maybe there's like actual just places you can teleport to and fro. All right, so we're here. Objectives. Oh, that's it. It's just, uh, like, greenlighting us. Like, hey, alright, figure out what you want to do next. Oh, I know what I'm doing next. Let's go through the portal. Ooh, this looks like copper. We're gonna bring some of this copper back with us. And with that, we'll unlock metallurgy. And then we can see what we can craft with copper. Maybe some new armor... Or some better weapons. Oh, that'd be great. Get, like, a nice copper mace, perhaps. I mean, I I've always been keen on the, uh, you know, two-handed weapons if I'm not doing magic. But if I can get shields that increase my damage, I will use a shield. I'll go sword and board of some sort and get that extra little damage bonus from that shield. As well as some damage mitigation as well. Because, you know, two birds, one stone. All right, and me being a little loot goblin I am, I, of course, destroyed this entire little outcrop of copper here. So we can see copper comes in stacks of 20. That whole thing gave me 32 plus some stone. And I want to investigate what all these other things do. So we can hit some of these bushes here and see what we can get. We should unlock new craftables. Our new objectives here are to investigate metallurgy and also investigate blacksmith and carpentry. We've got cactus pulp. Is that a food? It's a resource. So we're going to be able to make something out of that. We can probably use it to create some sort of delicacies. It's interesting. You just get a cactus pulp out of those. I didn't think that was cacti, but let's hit this palmish tree here. So some sticks. Might just be the sticks and logs of this desert-esque area. Going to hit one a couple more. Oh, not enough stamina. Whoopsies. I'm just going to keep moving here. Do a little investigation. Oh, porcupine. Oh, it has range damage. But you can... Dodge? What is that? Is that a chocobo? My god, someone didn't feed their chocobos. They hit hard. Five damage. And, oh, they give me feathers, so I can use those to, uh, do my bow. Ah. Oh, they also give claws. Okay, that's good. So, feathers and claws. So, I've got an easier way to farm some bow materials. I wouldn't even say easier. 
obviously farming your own animal livestock because you get f feathers from the goose, so. Chowing down on some moors over here. So more cactus pulp from these things, okay. Figure out what to do with all that later. Ooh. Hold on, I want to back up over here. I don't want that porcupine to hit me too easily. There you go. Attack that cacti. And this bird can't hit me. Oh no, it can. Eat some more meat. Got a feather out of that. Oops. Ah, couldn't move in time. Whatever. We got some quills. Did I pick up quills from the other one or did I just not get anything? Quills are ammo, so we might get... Maybe I can use them with a sling? We'll see. Let's do a little bit more investigating over here. See what we got going on in this land. I hear something. More porcupines. Can I get through here? No. Let's uh, chop this down. We'll chop these two trees down. That'll be our way in and out. Actually, you know what? Not even that. I want to go this way. This will be more direct. And it smells good outside my house right now. I'll get my window open. Someone's barbecuing. I can just smell that like nice char- You piece of crap. How dare you? My accuracy's still not that great with a bow. Boom. Take some quills. Take this cactus pulp here. How many arrows do I have? 25. Same thing here. We'll cut these trees out of my way. I don't want the sticks. I don't really care for them right now. I've got plenty of sticks at home if I need to farm. I need to do the same thing here. What does this do? Oh, that's right. Minimize. This is the canyon. Ooh, a rat person? All right. He seemed pretty friendly because he didn't do anything on... Oh, my word! Monster mob, get out of here. Let's uh, feather them in through this little spot here, and we'll fight them one by one. Or 2v2. 2v1. 2v1's fine, too. I need some meat, though, because we're gonna need it. Come here, rat man. So the rat men are like the goblins. They're, they're pretty weak. They do two damage apiece. Oh, that one hit me. Keep moving. Ah, that one got me. Ah. Whew. Come here, you guys. I don't want that other porcupine to hit me. Quills hurt. Five damage apiece. Come on, shoot me once. There you go. Take this guy out. Man, that was a fight right there. Forgot my quills. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit him with my thingy. Nothing. I want to see what kind of drop, so... There I want to say... Like I said, I'm still on the theory that everything drops a minimum of two items. With one of them being a rare item. Rare slash uncommon. Like, you know, with the fox, with the claws. And with, um... You know, boars with pelts. It looks like I gotta dig my way through here. And then with the goblins with that face mask. So I'm wondering if the bears dropped anything special. Or what these rat men slash chocobos slash porcupines will drop for me as well. I can see another copper outcrop here. But I still can't fit through. So you can see here, you know, it's it's got enough space, but I can't fit through that. I need it looks like I'm I'm a bit chunky, so I need two tiles worth of space to fit. Like hold on, let me back up here. You ready? Build. Look, here's the space. One, two. But, like, the space here, it's one tile. We can't fit through one tile. We're chunky. See? Doesn't work. So, we'll keep cutting our way through here. I just want to go a little further and see what we got going on before we head back. And com 
continue our questing here. All right, yeah, more rat people. All right, let's head back to base. Bring my ghost friend out here. Get me out of here. Oh, you can't while there are enemies nearby? All right, well, let's go over here real quick, and then we'll kill these enemies, and then we'll get out of here. And end this off with a fight. But yeah, guys, if you're loving Force of Nature, make sure you do leave that like button down below and leave a comment as well. Let me know what you're thinking about the game so far. I'd love to hear from you guys, and the likes help the algorithm, and also tell me what you guys are loving and wanting to see. Because I use that to judge. Holy, holy crap. I use that to judge what games we want to play. Like obviously, I'm going to play games that I want to play too, but I want to play games that I want to play and that you all want to watch. It's a, you know, nice little system that way, don't you think? Ooh, Christ. Hold on. Got to back up a little bit here. Let me put some of that in my mouth. All right. Like, I just did a little thing on uh, Universe Sim, which I just think is an awesome game, so I can't wait to play more of it with you guys. But I need to know what you guys think of the game, too, so that way we can decide which games to be prioritizing as well. Because not only is it just about what we play, it's about what we prioritize on the channel. So yeah, make sure. It helps me a lot to understand what you guys want to see in here. Especially the comments. I obviously take priority to my commenters. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as you can get back here for that sweet daily content at 9.15 Eastern every single day. Right, looks like we got a little space that way we can go. We've got more copper here. Let's take a walk up here. Oh, my God. My, look at my health. I was not paying attention to that. I can fight this porcupine, though. Ooh, got a level. Oh, perfect. So that means I fully healed up. Keep going this way here a bit. I accidentally ate some stamina stuff. Oops. God, these guys. I, I, I wonder if there's like an AoE weapon. There'd probably be some spells that are AoE, but we're obviously not there yet. And we haven't gotten a single drop from these rat men yet. I do keep pressing space every now and then just to see with our labels. Ooh, those are beefier little rat men there. Let me eat that piece of meat first. Uh, one, two, one, two. Yeah, we're going to get rid of these little guys first. They only do a damage more, so... Yeah, and they'll take roughly three hits. No drops. I bet these guys give us a rare drop. Ooh, a broken shield. What does that do? Just a resource, okay. Do something with that, I'm sure. I can't stop wanting to walk forward. Chuckabo. That's it for the meat. I'm gonna throw down our bread in our inventory. Claws and feathers. Perfect. Chuckabo, come here. You know what? Good test. Let's see if this is just sand as well. It's nothing. Oh, my word. Don't scare me like that. Got him. I wonder if he'll hit his friend. Better move. Oh, perfect. Stunned him. Chuckabo time. Let's get the Chuckabo race complete. Look, I blocked a shot there. You saw the little shield come up. Thank you, 5% chance. Ah, oh, beautiful stuff. All right, got those. More copper. What is that? Is that a bison? Oh. It's pretty slow, so hold on. Let's kill this uh, porcupine here. Ooh, ooh, eight damage. Yikes. Oh my god! Oh, I gotta, I gotta move out of here. I accidentally aggroed way too much. Come 
much health do you have? Fair bit of health. That guy's new. Little blood monkey. How many arrows? One arrow. And it missed. Make sure I eat the food. Alright, let's take out the bison here. Broken copper sword. Health's raw meat. I bet he drops like a horn or something. That would make a lot of sense. Grab that feather here. Grab these quills. Let him shoot at me one more time. There we go. Only take one shot from him that way. I just want to see what's up here. And then I'm going to call it a day. And we're going to head back to base and finish off these little last bits of research here. Chocobo. Alright, I'm not going to go that way. I can see it bridges, so we're going to call that explore, explored enough. And I just want to see what's over here. Oh, I took that. Got some more quills. And nothing over there. Alright, so that's the main way to go. So we'll keep an eye on that. Look at that. We covered a lot of ground here. Alright, I'm going to harvest this up and I'll meet you guys back at the base. Alright, I mined that outcrop. Now I've got... 54 bits of copper ore, so that should be pretty good. Let's call our ghosty buddy over to us, and let's get out of here. Alright, back to the homestead here. I'm going to grab one pure water real quick. Grab these. Oh. What? Yeah, plant. There we go. Wait, why did only... Oh, whoops. I only planted one. Oops, I meant to grab... I should have grabbed five pure water. My mistake there. Plant that. We spread it out. Alright, let's throw my... Magic blueberries in here. Now let's get to discovering. So, we've got metallurgy to do. And then with this complete, we should unlock some other stuff. Blacksmithing. We need a copper ingot. So, let's build... What's new? There it is. A blast furnace. So I've got enough stones, thankfully, from all that copper we mined. And I need to get 15 sand and 15 clay. So let's get digging. And with all those materials, we'll build a blast furnace. I think we'll put it down. We'll put it up here in our crafting corner. Polaris? What does this mean? I wonder what... Because this is obviously centered around my portal. I wonder what this radius is for about guess we'll find out eventually i'm gonna put the blast furnace right in this little alcove actually that'll look nice there there goes my ghosty boy actually while well, i was thinking we're probably gonna need coal to power that thing so what i'm gonna do is we're gonna make a bunch of embers here and then we'll take that and turn it into coal I have some coal. I think I have a stack of 20, perhaps, here, ready to go. Yeah, I made that a long time ago. I just left it there, obviously. I'm going to take that out as well. I'll turn that into some more flatbread for us. We'll get some embers going. We've got our ghosty boy over here building for us. Got our lovely animal pen. God, look at it. Just animal farm is beautiful over here. I'm going to need some sticks. No, I need logs for this thing, don't I? Yeah, we need logs. I've got plenty of logs, so let me come over here. You ready? And boom. Well, seven, actually. Ah, I've used a lot of logs. Let's hit a couple trees while all that goes. Bring these down and clear up some space as well. All right, I cut some of those down. The blast furnace is ready, so let's take a peek at this thing. So to make copper ingots, we need to make fine copper ore, seven coal, and three embers. So I need embers and coal, and I need to make a crucible. So I'm going to need that. And from scrap, I can make copper scrap, coal. Okay. So it looks like copper scrap is the best way to go. So i got to figure out how we can disassemble things to get some copper scrap, perhaps. And I've got some of this over here. So I'm going to take all of that. I'm going to come to... What is it? Oh, yeah. Fine copper ore. Boom. Toss that in there. We'll get our crafty boy going. Ghosty go. And then I'm going to do this over here. Use all those to make a bunch of coal. That'll get us some more embers. I'm also going to top that up as well. We'll keep that rolling. 
So to make a crucible, I just need 10 clay. So let's grab that. All right, we've got a little bit of copper dust, so let's get our first ingot. Oh, yeah, no, I need to make our crucible. What am I doing? Let's come over here. We'll stop production on this. Cancel this. Yeah, give me that. Oh, I'm full on resources. I'll drop the meat on the ground for a second. We'll make our clay crucible here. Pick that up in 40 seconds and take it over to our blast furnace and grab our first copper bar. And with that last little bit of percentage there, it's complete. Now we're going to head over here. See, we got our fine copper ore right there. Take this. Grab our crucible. Toss it in our tools here. Hit craft and wait an entire minute to get this complete. But it does it on its own because it's a, it's a furnace. So you don't actually have to do anything, which is nice. And we have our first beautiful copper ingot. Let's take that down here. Hit this research button. And we'll discover blacksmithing and see what we can create here. Man, this is going smooth. All right, let's let's grab all this stuff real quick. Do I have pure water on me? I do not. Let me come in here real quick. I want to make flat bread. Oh, but I need pure water for that too. That's pure water. I'm going to just toss this wheat on the ground. And then put all that in there. Pure water complete. I'll pick that up. Oh no, it's full. Um, all right, well, I need a bit more pure water. Is that it for pure water for me? How many is that total? 14, that'll be enough at least. Plant that up. I'm gonna toss this last bit of pure water in here. I need to get some more of that soon. Do I have a spot in here? Actually, I should have a spot in my little cooking basket. I'll put this flour in here. And I'm going to put the embers in there, at least for the moment. There we go. We've got bread going. We've got this going. And, oh yeah, i got to do this manually. I forgot. And now we've discovered blacksmithing. Carpentry is next. I need to make a plank. And I've got some new stuff here. I can make a stone hammer. Oh, crafting speed, 10%. Wooden tongs. Probably need that for something. I'm surprised I don't need those to pull out hot copper ringgits. But, you know, that's neither here nor there, I suppose. And if we go into our build menu, we have an anvil that we can make now. Construction strength. Slots for tools. Slots for keels. Slots for resources. And then with that, we can produce nails, sheets, copper axe, pickaxe, hoe, copper bucket. Mind resources, too. Oh, it's just a little bit faster. And then we got a knife, copper sword, copper spear, and a copper mace. So the mace is 16 damage. Sword is 12. So 12, 1, 1, 1, 16, 8, 1, 3, 5, and a 5% chance of stun. And then the copper sword is 10. Why is that 10? That's weaker than a... Than, that's the same damage as this stone mace. Stone, or not that, uh, this right here, the stone mace. Obviously, it's a little bit faster attack speed and slightly less stamina use, but I like big damage, so we're going to go with that copper mace for sure. But all right, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up here. What I'll do is I'll get a bunch of this copper right here, smelt it into fine dust. Then we'll take some coal from here, followed by coming up to here and grabbing embers, and I'll take all three of those products, bring them over to this little corner up here, pop in some ingots, get those crafting, and I'll get that going. And then we're going to build an anvil. I'm going to get some new tools, so I'm going to have stone, or not stone, I'm going to have all new copper tools to play with before we move on and check out our next objectives here for carpentry. What do we need for that? What do you want me to make? A plank. Which I can make at a crafting table. Oh, I didn't see that. It's right here. Oh, just one of these. Oh, but I need a copper plane. Right there. Which needs a copper sheet. So I need to make a copper sheet to make a copper plane to then make a plank. And then we can get carpentry, which means... 
hunter's dwelling. We'll make a hunter's dwelling with that right there. But all right, guys, we're going to call this quits here. So as usual, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well so you get back here for that daily content, 915 Eastern every single day. And hit that like button down below to help the algorithm out and get us all heard together. All right, guys, as usual, this has been Shabby Do, and I hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.